Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool Heron's Fountain. To make it we're going to use three bottles and a number of drinking straws. We'll also need a glue gun, a pair of scissors, a drill and maybe a knife. We'll start by taking two of the bottle tops and use the glue gun to fix them together like this. Next we need to select a drill bit which is slightly bigger than our drinking straw diameter and use it to drill two holes side by side through our bottle top. Clean it up and it should look like this. We also need to drill two holes through the bottle top of our third bottle. Next we need to use a bigger drill bit to carefully make a hole straight through the centre of the base of one of the bottles. If you're not comfortable using a drill for this, you could use a knife. The hole needs to be big enough for the bottle top to cover without obscuring the smaller holes. And we'll be using this later. Next we need to connect two bottles together using the double bottle top we made. And we're going to need a drinking straw which runs from the bottom of the bottom bottle up and through the hole at the top of the top bottle. So I'm going to lengthen a standard drinking straw by putting a slice in the end, sliding another straw inside and sealing them together with my glue gun. I chopped off the flexi bit on one end and it should now be long enough for the next step. Remove the top bottle and bottle lids thread the straw through one of the holes and place it back in the bottle. We need to fix this straw so it's just above the base of the bottle. I glued mine in place while I held it. We now need to lengthen the straw again using the same technique that we did before. Whilst that's drying I took two yellow straws, cut off the flexi and joined these together too. We need to push this down through the other hole in the bottle top and fix it in place so that it sits about a couple of inches down into the bottle. Once that's done we can remove it from the bottle and reinforce the straws with more glue from the other side. Once it's all dry we can screw it back onto the bottle and it should look like this. Next we need to measure up the straw lengths against another bottle and we need to cut down the yellow one a little so that it stops about an inch off the end of the bottle. Then thread the other bottle over the straws, screw it down onto the cap and the red straw should be just sticking through the hole at the top. Next I took two blue straws, cut off the flexi and joined them together. I threaded it through the remaining bottle top and slid it down into the hole like this. We need to fix this all in position here. So I applied glue all around the hole and stuck the lid on. We need the blue straws to be raised about an inch off the bottom of the bottle so I held it in place while I fixed it with glue. Then I also sealed and fixed the red straw which you can see is really low down and just poking through the bottle top. Do make sure you don't seal off the hole with glue. Finally we need to cut the top section off the third bottle to make a funnel. Screw this down onto the top and that's our fountain complete. Now that it's finished I decided to remove the labels of the bottles so you can see inside better. And there it is. Using different coloured straws really helps us to see exactly where they're positioned. To use it we first need to prime it which we do by pouring water in the top which runs down the red straw and fills up the bottom bottle. Next we need to turn it upside down so the water runs through the yellow straw into the middle bottle. When that's filled up turn it back around and stand it up. It's now primed and ready. To use it pour water into the funnel at the top and it should start the fountain. Pretty cool huh? This was starting to spill quite a lot of water out and over the edge. So I took one of the blue flexi pieces we cut off earlier, put a slit in it and slid it over the top of the fountain straw. 
This time when I used it, it went a lot better. We didn't have the water loss and you can see how it's working. So what's happening here? Let's take a look. Once we've primed the fountain so there's water in the middle bottle, we pour more into the funnel at the top. This pours down the red straw into the bottom bottle and displaces the air in this bottle, pushing it up through the yellow straw into the middle bottle. The pressure increases and pushes the water in this bottle up through the blue straw, resulting in a fountain which continues to feed itself until either the water level in the bottom bottle rises higher than the yellow straw or the water level in the middle bottle falls below the blue straw. To reset it, we can turn it all upside down to refill the middle bottle. Then remove the bottom bottle, pour the water back into our jug and restart the fountain. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more fun science experiments, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.